So through Brianna, I met a guy named Will in her program. Uh, Will and I have pretty similar tastes in music and Belgian beer. So Will was like, hey, you want to go to Belgium this weekend? And I said, yeah, sounds like fun. So Will and I took a train, first class, from uh, Paris over to Brussels. It was a nice ride, just over an hour. They brought us a bunch of food, free drinks, and I just sat and read my book, which I still haven't finished. So we rolled into Brussels, eventually figured out their metro system, and got over to the hostel. We didn't have a specific plan for our time here, uh, just to have as many good Belgian beers as we could. So after we dropped our stuff off, this is one of the first things we saw when we walked around the city. This is called the Grand Place, and uh, it's the main square. That's Will. Hey, Will. Um, yeah, a bunch of really old buildings. Some have the, a lot of them have the year built, and they're in like the 17th century. It's very cool, very pretty place. So after looking around there just a minute, we decided to make our way towards this place that Will heard of. It's right down here, and it was called Delirium something. And uh, turns out, it's Delirium Cafe, uh, owned by the people who make one of my favorite beers, Delirium Tremens. And they have over 2,000 beers at this place. Sorry to stick a camera in your face. This is the place on the inside. It's pretty cool. So after a couple good beers there, we walked around and it's getting dark. And the, uh, the spire of the cathedral is all lit up at night. It looks pretty cool as we were approaching it. Now a bunch of people were sitting down in the Grand Place, so we decided to join them. Just take a break for a while. I think we went back to the bar maybe, and then that was pretty much it for our first night. So the next morning, we got some coffee at the Grand Place. Look how cool this looks. So one of the obligatory things you have to see in Brussels is the pissing boy. That's what it's called. There it is. It's a little boy, and he's pissing. That's it. Uh, <laughs> they don't know why it's there, and they don't know where it came from. And then just over here, Will saw some escargot, and he said they're actually pretty good and he wanted to try them. I couldn't do it, but he did. Just, just gotta see you eat one. <laughs> oh, man. And back to the Grand Place. That building was built in 1699. Probably get killed or something. Then we went back to the Delirium Cafe, of course, because they have a bunch of great beers and it's cheap. And I was a little drunk, just a little bit, a little bit. And uh, I was like, I love this song. I guess he had to be there. Anyway, then we wanted to take a break because it was so hot in there th at that time and no one in Europe has air conditioning. So we went back to the Grand Place, sat down, and this is what the clouds looked like. It was pretty awesome. Okay then, let me try and explain what happened. Will and I went back to the hostel, and it was like the nicest hostel ever, because it had its own bar. It was just really big and really nice. It was strange. So Will and I were sitting at the bar, and then he went up to get ready for bed, and I was still sitting there finishing my whiskey. And then this girl comes up, and she taps me, and she's like, excuse me, are you very busy? And I'm like, no, I'm here at a bar by myself. Uh, so I was like, no, uh, what's up? She's like, do you want to play pool with us? So I play. Her, I start playing pool with her and uh, two other guys, and um, then that was fun. We played a few games, got a few drinks, and then this guy was like, hey, he has this very good idea. Hey, we got to go find my brother. He's at this club. And I'm like, oh, that's such a bad idea. That's going to be really fun. So we went out at one, one past one in the morning to go find his brother at some club because that's going to happen. <laughs> so we got to the club. Downstairs was all um, not like oldies, but just like classic songs. And some people are dancing to that. And then, uh, so we walk through this, kind of looking for his brother. He doesn't find him at all. Then we go upstairs, 
and uh, it's all dance music, and it's actually really good dance music. Like, uh, I was surprised, because we'd gone out before and just no good music, but really good dance music upstairs. So we made a lap around, and uh, didn't see his brother, of course, and we're like, well, what are we going to do? So we went downstairs, got drinks, and then danced and drank until like, 6 in the morning. So I got back to the hostel at a little past 6 in the morning, stumbled into bed, somehow woke up for breakfast. Uh, then we got lunch together with me and my friends from last night and Will. I didn't really think about it at the time. I didn't get any videos of them. I should have. Uh, but we were walking around looking for a place to eat lunch, and I saw something by Space Invader. I want to go to There's a bunch of like, Greek places right up there. So we got that Greek food and then parted ways with our hostel friends. Then uh, Will got a few beers. I was still recovering from last night. So we wandered back into the place I was the night before. This is it, just totally different, filled with a bunch of old English guys. Oh yeah, it was weird. Then it was time to take a train back to Paris. It was a fun weekend, had some good beer. I had some crazy fun that night. It was a good time. So thanks again for watching, and I'll try and get up about two more videos before I leave.